Okay, guys, so the the stupidness continues. Adidas is going to keep selling Yeezy designs, and they're just going to drop the Yeezy off the name. If you take a look over here at this news.adidas.com forward slash Yeezy, they still got Yeezy stuff branded on their website. So take it in, take a good look. All of these shoes, uh, they're going to keep making, only they're not going to have the Yeezy name on them. I don't know. I think that kind of detracts away from the allure of buying the shoe to begin with. What are you going to call these shoes if you're not going to call them Yeezy Boosts? Boosts? You're just going to call it a Boost 380? A Boost 700? You're going to call that the 700 V3 Cooper fade, Copper Fade? I don't know. It just seems a little dumb. Uh, let's go ahead and check out this article from Yahoo News. It says the German apparel company ended its nine-year partnership with the designer and rapper Lee former and rapper formerly known as Kanye West in October over his anti-Semitic comments. It says Adidas is the sole owner of all design rights registered to existing product. We intend to make use of these rights as early as 2023. Adidas chief financial officer Harm Olmeyer said in the quarterly earnings call Wednesday per Insider, adding that Adidas owns all the versions in new colorways and Yeezys are RIP. Now, the only thing that they do not own is the name Yeezy, which I think is what actually sold the shoes to begin with. They uh, did have some beef with Yeezy, uh, uh, with Ye, uh, when they stole the design of his slides and they made... Uh, these silly ass things look how uncomfortable these look dude all those little grooves okay uh they're gonna be trapped in sweat okay your feet are gonna be blistering up rubbing up on these damn lines like that that's not gonna feel good on your feet at all i hope you're wearing socks you're gonna get clowned for wearing socks with your slides you look crazy so when they stole this design uh yay kind of mentioned that on drink champs um and he mentioned how it feels like you're effing my wife in front of me when you steal my designs and don't give me any creative control over my own content. Now, I guess since they're the manufacturer solely of this uh, shoes, uh, maybe their contractual agreement was that they own the design of the shoes, which Ye designed himself. But I guess uh, he gets to keep the Yeezy name, which when he comes up with his own Yeezys, is going to be amazing okay he could have a block he could come out with a cinder block with uh some insoles in there and put the word yeezy on it guarantee you they're going to sell way more than some bootleg adidas that uh used to be called yeezys it says yay started working with adidas in 2013 and their partnership proved financially fruitful for both parties it accounted for 1.5 billion dollars of Ye's net worth and reportedly up to 8% of Adidas sales per Forbes. I don't I don't trust Forbes, okay? Just like I don't trust Snopes.com, okay? They're paid and sold and bought for. We take a look at this article over here by Soul Retriever. It says nearing 2 billion in yearly sales, cutting easy from Adidas is going to cost them big. More than 40% of Adidas profit comes from easy sneaker sales. All in all, uh, it took roughly two minutes uh, over a conference call for three stripes to pull the plug officially, even with the negative financial impacts that followed suit. Stock prices for Adidas AG fell roughly 5% based on the announcement of the German sportswear giant is expected to lose close to $250 million in profits just in 2022 alone. But in another article, I did read that they're boasting that, oh, since we don't have to pay Kanye 300 or 200 to 300 million dollars in uh royalties we're actually going to be saving money no i think you're going to lose even more money that 200 300 mil that you weren't paying yay you're going to be losing because you don't have yay that's just my opinion so go ahead turn that 300 million into 600 million and uh, watch the decline of adidas once again they're going to need another black superstar to bail them out of this one I think it's all silly. I think it's funny. I understand uh, Adidas doesn't want to look like a bunch of, uh, you know, Reichstag supporters, but uh, it's a dirty game. It's business. And if you honestly think that Ye was driven by money, I don't think he would have made any of the comments that he made that got him where he is today. I'm your dude, V3RY. This has nothing to do with video games and everything to do with your perception of reality. Until the next time, stay safe, stay dangerous. Stay Stay on top of your shit!